What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy Pool Kind of Boxing. Coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing fans. So, um, tonight, Sebastian Fundora fought uh, Carlos Campos, and it was a pretty good fight. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. So, you know, Fandora came out, he surprised me because he came out with a jab. And uh, for the first three to four rounds, you know, well, for the first three rounds, he jabbed. And I thought Carlos Ocampos won those rounds, right? But, you know, around maybe the third or fourth round, you know what I'm saying, um, you could hear Sebastian Fedora coach, you know, calling for him to make Carlos Ocampos work. Now, to me, that means, you know, Sebastian Fedora had, you know, what I was calling for him to go on the inside and start leaning on Carlos Ocampos and start working on the inside and, you know, with the uppercuts that Fedora is good for, the one that he knocked out Eric Lubin with. So, you know, he started doing that and Ocampo was giving him good as he, he got until like maybe the sixth round and the sixth round that's when you saw Fandora kind of like you know saying was just was wearing Ocampo down and Ocampo even though he was still in the fight um he just got worn down because Fandora was using um different kind of boxing tactics like he would he would punch and then he would press down him. on Ocampo head right on his neck he would hold with one arm and he would hit with to the body with the other so he's a really uh crafty Sebastian Fedora is a really crafty inside fighter um he showed me some things in this fight um Ocampo Music showed me that he is imagine. really really tough and he was in really excellent shape because look like different points in the fight he did look like he you know he was wearing down he had arm punches and he was really uh able to have some success on the inside with fandora and i hope a lot of the i hope uh jamal is watch i mean jamal is watching this because on the inside you could survive you could fight with fandora on the inside but i have a theory that fandora fights up to his competition and I think he really got up for Eric Lubin. And Eric Lubin helped him by fighting the wrong fight. In that in that one inst instant. You know what I'm saying? Eric Lubin fought the wrong fight by going to the inside. And I think he got overconfidence once he got the knockdown for Fedora. And I think he wasn't ready for Fedora leaning on him. And really taking his legs away. And that's... That's what Fedora attempted to do to Carlos Ocampos, but Carlos Ocampos was smart enough to bounce to the outside at times and do a stab jab to the solar plex. And I think that took enough out of Fedora uh, pressure attack to not finish off. Uh, the, it, it, it sapped. It sapped Sebastian Fedora's strength, so he couldn't I'm have the power at the end of the fight to like really finish Ocampos off. And from what I saw, Carlos is a really smart fighter, you know what I'm saying, from what he was doing in there. But I think he, he just got so worn down, he couldn't keep his accuracy. And uh, But even with that, Carlos Ocampos showed that he's, he's a, a tough, tough yeah. character, you know what I'm saying. That one defeat by uh, Errol Spence Jr., you know what I'm saying, really didn't tell us everything that's inside Carlos Ocampos. And um, I think... Um, you know, we can see from Fandora, you know what I'm saying, he might be able to get up for Jamil uh, Charlo. Um, you know, if he's fighting fighters up to the competition level, like, you know, Holy like Holyfield used to do, you know, he'll fight like a, a bum, and it'll be a, like a the fight will be competitive, and then he'll fight like a champion, and he'll go in there and he'll destroy him. So I think Fandora is on some shit like that. And, um, but in this fight, um, you know, everybody expected Fedora, who was the favorite, to go in there and just wash Carlos Ocampos. It was far from a wash. It was a highly competitive fight. 
And then Jack Reese comes in there with the bullshit, you know, trying to stop the fight um, between the seventh and the eighth round. He comes in there and he's looking at he's looking at um, Carlos Ocampos like he's going to stop the fight, warning him that he has uh, weak punches. And I was like, I have never seen this anywhere in boxing. All the boxing, all my days of watching boxing, I've never seen a ref that was about to stop the fight because he didn't think the uh, fighter was, uh, you know, wasn't uh, punching enough. And um, uh, I think Carlos Ocampos, he answered every time Fundora, you know, would throw something. He would come back with two, three, four punches, you know what I'm saying? Even in the round Jack Reese was talking about, Carlos, uh, Carlos Ocampos hit him with like a three-piece combination. So I think Jack Reese just be doing too much. He's too controversial um, with the whole Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder fiasco, giving him, you know what I'm saying, giving Tyson Fury 20 seconds to get up, you know what I'm saying, that type of shit. So he always interject his judgment in the fight, which usually has an outcome, has a has a um, has a um, effect on the fight and refs should not have effects on the fight so that He's was kind of interesting i think imagine. the industry is behind sebastian fandora and they don't want him to uh lose and i think you know they're going to put refs like jack reese in there to ensure that he uh wins and they had the wbo official in there looking over the over jack reese's shoulder in there and the whole thing just looked kind of you know it just looked kind of fishy and just looked kind of corrupt and I just thought it was going to just ruin this night of boxing but uh big ups to Carlos Ocampos you know what I'm saying he came around the outside with that left you know what I'm saying the, to uh time Fandora when he would jab come in with that jab he was missing with that jab a lot too um Fandora uh even though Showtime um commentators were just kind of awful just they were just like you know overrating the jab because he was missing a lot and um you know to the point where you know it was not even you know a great i mean it was a pretty jab but it wasn't consistent it wasn't connecting consistently right and i think carlos ocampos to his credit by the time um, by the time they did all that inside fighting for about, you know, four or five rounds, um, you know, um, Sebastian, Sebastian Fedora, you know, he went back to, uh, boxing for the last two rounds, you know what I'm saying? With that inaccurate jab. And at times he, you know, saying Carlos Campos would eat it, but then at times he would go, he would slip it, go around it and he would bash Fedora upside the head. And, um, but he was so tired by the end of the round, you know, it was just sporadic. So, you know, both fighters had put in a lot of work on the inside. So, you know, really, you know, they just wanted to get through the fight to the end. And that looked like they both kind of had a warrior agreement to do that because they really, you know, didn't have anything left in the 11th and the 12th. And Fondora just showed that, you know, he's beatable. You know what I'm saying? He's not this monster that everybody think he is, you know. And you can see where the top guys like Jamil Charlo, um, if um, if Eric, if, if Errol Spence Jr. moves up, you know what I'm saying? They'll probably destroy Fedora. That's just my opinion. But, um, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to congratulate Sebastian um, Fedora for a great win. Um, I think he did enough to win the fight, but um, it was really highly competitive, and I, I just like to really give a great shout shout out to Carlos Ocampos because he showed a great showing, um, really great showing for himself. He did himself. He raised his stock, raised in my opinion, and um, so you know I look forward to seeing Carlos Ocampos again. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much all I got. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. And uh, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Peace.